the Nerds of Color. And first off, thank you so much for taking the time. I'm, I'm a huge fan of your work, so it's a real oh, honor. Oh, yeah, Sophia, thanks. I, I appreciate being here. Of course. Very well, thankful. huge, huge congrats on your new project. I am beyond excited to see it. Uh, so, so excited. So I want to start off by just asking you, what attracted you to the show originally? Um, you know, I, I just really liked that. Um, it was something grounded in reality. And that was kind of something that I wanted to do after Sabrina. I loved Sabrina and I loved that world. It was so much fun to play in. But I remember having the thought, like, it'd be cool to do something that's like just a bit more um, like in in the real world for, yeah. for just to see like what that is like, too, you know. So I kind of like that. And I never went to college. So I wanted to see what it was like to go to college, even if it was through a script. <laughs> How fun was that for you, though? Because it's like you're taking you're going to, you know, audiences are going to relate to some of these experiences. So how fun is that for you to kind of bring that to life as well? Oh, for sure. I mean, my stepsister went to college and, and me and my sis both kind of missed that bus. We were just like not college kids for some reason. We just kind of found what we wanted to do and went and did it that route. But, um, you know, I like I, I might have seen like a first couple of the episodes and uh, I, I got some of the screeners. And um, my stepsis is kind of a tough critic. So she was like, this is pretty good, actually. This is actually kind of good. This, this reminds me of college. It's taking me back. And I was like, fuck yeah, like we're doing the thing. Like we're hitting, we're hitting it close. You know what I mean? So it was, it was super fun. Yeah. That's, that's the best when you get your tough critics to be like, all right, this is, this is pretty good. There you go. Yeah, we like that. Yep. And you have such a passionate fan base that got sort of brought on for, from Sabrina and now they are excited to follow you in your career now that that show's over and go to your new projects. What does that mean to you to sort of see that? Oh, man. Well, I mean, it, it was something I like, I really didn't know what to expect. You know, Sabrina was like the first big thing that I had kind of done that, that garnished that following. And it, it blew my mind because it kind of felt like it came overnight, you know. Um, and I just feel like so grateful um the fans are everything like it, it's it's like you know we we do all this stuff we create stuff and then we get to share it with people and if it's not being received or something then it's just like you're doing it for a selfish reason or something so to see that and to see that continued loyalty is like so heartwarming and just makes it makes the job itself so much more exciting and fun and like worthy or something you know it's like we get to do it for everyone yeah. And the response to the trailer, I was dying. I was seeing all of it on social media. I was so happy you guys were getting the hype. It was well deserved. It was oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think HBO Max is killing it. Um, they're doing such a good job on the social. And, and, you know, Sabrina, there was like a long runway. They like kind of took a long, like, um, they had a lot of like planning and stuff. And HBO Max, I hadn't heard much from. And then they just like went, you know, like all out, all at once. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, they're going to crush this and they sure are it's pretty cool to see <laughs> that's cool to see for you to like just have it appear suddenly <laughs> so you're like oh yep there, there you go a minute yep <laughs> totally i know i was like i didn't do nothing but you guys put it all together and made it look absolutely sick yeah it's cool <laughs> and i want to give you the chance to sort of give like a brief introduction to your character of what you could tease without giving too much away of course sure uh nico's like a confident college man. I think he cares a lot about what he does and also has um, uh, figured out some ways to sort of get around the college system in a very savvy sort of way. Um, I think he's got a big heart, but I think he's got um, a, a, a little bit of a lost spirit as well. Um, and we get to see a couple of, like we get to see that side of him throughout this show, which is cool, yeah. Now, I have to imagine, at least for me, when I watch a show, I always take something away from it. I have to imagine it's sort of the same for you as an actor. When you play a role for, you know, any amount of time, you sort of get something. You know, was there something you got from this character, whether that's, you know, an acting lesson or maybe a life lesson that you feel like you're going to carry with you? Um, yeah, I mean, with every every everything creative, I think there's something that you sort of, by osmosis, take away from the experience. Um, you know, it was the first time that I had shot a TV show in LA and it was interesting. And Sabrina, we all were up in Vancouver together and it was like, we were, we were all kind of away from our original tribes and out in a place that like pushed us all together. And in LA, it was the first job I had where, you know, everyone was kind of from there and had their own thing. And it was like, 
we went back to our respective lives and then came to work, um, which was just kind of an interesting thing that I hadn't experienced yet. And it was kind of nice to like have uh, just like that life and that life and them all being in one place. Um, I don't know if that's like, you know, the deepest answer of like, what did I take away from, no, you know, maybe perfect. the character or something, but it was perfect. something that I definitely yeah. took away from the experience it was like, oh, this is what it's like to kind of, you know, shoot out here on a big lot. And I mean, we were shooting on the same lot as like friend, like the friends fountain is uh. there. Um, Stars Hollow from Gilmore Girls is there. It's like, there was a day that Pauline and I had finished shooting a scene and we were riding on a golf cart, a golf cart back from set to the trailers and I was like shirtless in the scene that we were in. So I was like in a robe and just like sitting on the back of a golf cart and the sun was going down in LA, which they have some of the craziest sunsets. And I was just like, holy shit. Like we are on the Warner Brothers lot shooting a TV show. There's the friends found. We're being carted by the wonderful Allison. Like everything was just like a super magical moment. And I was like, this feels like the Hollywood dream that people kind of hope for. And I'm, I'm in it right now. It was really a surreal kind of moment. Yeah. It's those moments that you kind of get to stop and stare and really take the moment in too, to be like, oh my gosh, look where I am after all this. Overwhelming <laughs> gratitude, like to the point where you're either like going to scream from excitement or cry out of the happiness, you know, like it was, it was big for sure. And you have that fun, obviously, college comedy vibe going on with this show. What, what did you love about doing that? And uh, did you did you enjoy that genre? Do you want to do more of it going forward? Anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I love I love it. And like, I hope we do another season too, because it's such an yes. enjoyable atmosphere. You know, I mean, like we got naked parties in this. We got uh, like uh, um, Theta Olympics, which is like a big competitive sort of party i mean not to spoil too much but like my character has a birthday in in one of the episodes and there's like oh, cardboard God. cutouts of me everywhere and i was just like what the hell like this is it's such a fun sort of like high energy um and a lot of good vibes around you know and i love i love that um as an actor i'm always looking for like the the new thing to do too you know what i mean i really am kind of a forward thinking person so like I'm curious what that next thing is and I'm not sure what it is yet because I think that's part of this job and this world is like embracing the unknown and being open to whatever it is. Um, so I, I'm not sure what that looks like, but I am, I'm always kind of looking for the next new thing as well, you know. You know, you are obviously very talented as well in the music department. Huge congrats on all your success there. Uh, thanks. So, <laughs> so I, of thank course. You. And yeah, so I want to give you a little fun, creative question to sort of tie into this. If you could pick a song, any song at all, to be sort of a theme song to go along with this show and describe it, what would you pick? Oh, man. You know, like, I feel like it might be a little too on the nose. It might be too fitting. But there was that song... Um, I love college. Yeah. Um, do you remember that? Like, yeah. dude, that song on set, we would sing it a couple times. And I was like, damn it, what is that song called? Like, what is it called? I love college. I love drinking. I love women. And I was just like, this is such the vibe of this, like, especially for this character and especially in this atmosphere. Like, that's the fitting song, I think, for sure. And you, you've kind of given us a little bit of behind the scenes and it sounds like such a fun set. It looks like it was just awesome to film. Do you have sort of a story or a memory that sort of sticks out to you when you look back on the experience? I know that's kind of hard because there was probably a lot. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, there are. I mean, like, <sighs> I'm, I, I don't know if there's like a specific memory. I, I, there's so many. I mean, like, the thing that was really fun about this too is like we had a lot of background which was really fun to work in like you just sort of start to feel like we had a lot of party scenes we shot a lot of party scenes you know and that's something that sticks out the most because at some point you kind of forget that you're at work and start yeah. feeling like you're at a party and there were moments where we're all dressed up it was like an abc party which you know if y'all don't know it means anything but clothing so, you know, everyone's kind of in um, like, I don't know, like someone's wearing just an inflatable raft around their around their parts and, you know, like caution tape and stuff like that. And um, I I 
was supposed to be in the background of the scene. And then we all realized, oh, wait, it actually doesn't make sense that Nico's in the background of the scene. So then I was like kind of ixnade from the scene. And I just sort of hung around a little bit longer because I was like, man, this is more fun. I'm going to go home and cook dinner and what? Listen to some yeah. classical music and fall asleep. Like that sounds cool and all, but like maybe I'll just hang out for like another hour and just see what's kind of going on. And, um, you know, it was it was a set that I like wanted to be on. And I think that's that's, you know, that's something to take away from it for sure. You want to show up to a job that you want to stay at. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's and you know what? It's it's kind of awesome that you guys got to just party at work. I mean, what better way? What better way? Right. <laughs> I don't even know what else. I, yeah, there's nothing else in the world I'd rather do. <laughs> exactly and i do not have to tell you you were already part of a fan favorite ship so i'm sure you know what that whole experience was like but i always i always love not only the the romance when it comes to these shows but also the friendships i think there's such great dynamics to be given for these shows is there a dynamic for your character that you are most excited for fans to see you know, I love the fact that Nico is like a really friendly kind of person. He's pretty popular in the series. And there are several moments where he's seen like with this group of best friends and with this group of best friends. And like, I loved that. I loved that there were, there were people that would like come and kind of go as Nico's, as Nico's like sidekick or, or you know, friend next by. And um and there was there was just a lot of fun. We got a lot of like close relationships really quickly um, because of that, because you want to form that chemistry really fast, you know, and I loved that. But truly, I love the brother and sister dynamic between Nico and Layton. Like, I think that that's such an important relationship. Um, I have an older sister who, you know, I, I like she's been my best friend my entire life. And I just really think that there's there's a lot of value in a brother and sister relationship and like what me and my sis have is really special and I think what Nico and Lane have is very special too so I'm excited for people to see that relationship form on screen that was one of the most anticipated ones for me at least when I was watching the trailer I was like oh that's gonna be a great one <laughs> yeah. it, looks, it looks like it's gonna be great and yeah. you know with these with these teen shows you know the audience watching is definitely going to try to get some sort of, you know, message or I'll be like, oh, that that character reminds me of me. Is there any sort of message you are hoping audiences maybe get? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of like cool um, messages sprinkled throughout this series, you know, and something that was at the forefront of my character's focus is like, um, you know, uh, teens are fallible and um, you know, everyone is kind of seen making mistakes through this and sort of fumbling through the college experience and and figuring out relationships and, um, you know, being honest and open and, and this and that. And it's it's really like I love that it, it takes place in a college environment and all the pieces are there. But I think that, you know, the important bit of this show is is like the dynamic of relationships between people. And that's what's really strongly focused on is the relationships, um, you know, whether that be friendships, brother and sister or romantic. And, you know, we make mistakes as people. And um, I think that there's something to be said about how we move past the mistakes that we make and how we sort of continue to learn and grow from those things. So that's definitely in here. And I hope that that's something that people get as well is that, you know, we are human and we do make mistakes and we have to learn and grow from them as well. I honestly, you know, I'm, I'm in my senior year of college and it's like, those oh, are okay. like the transitional like years, like, you know, going from this teen, this sort of, you know, growing up into this young adult and being out into the world. Yeah. And I think it's really important to remember like, Hey, you could still make a mistake and be a good person, you know? So I, lo I love at least when shows do that rather than have these perfect, amazing characters that do no wrong. Yeah, it's, does, that attract, sure. does that attract you to the character a little more than if it was, oh, he's perfect, he's getting great grades, he's the best, you know, he's the most popular, all that, and you get to play with the humanity. For sure. I mean, I think that that's something that, listen, there's, there's a place for seemingly every sort of premise for a TV show. Like, there are so many streaming platforms and there's so much room for creativity and exploration and you know there's so much freedom now more than ever and I think that it's 
it's okay to um, play in those kind of perfect worlds. However, like the thing that I am drawn to is the struggle. Like that's, yeah. that's the stuff that's real, you know? And like, that's what um, kind of taught me growing up whenever I watched something was like, um, the struggle, like I'm drawn to it. And I think we all are as humans inherently. And, um, I would prefer to work in a world that like does focus on that in order to maybe shed some light on it for anyone who's watching, you know? Yeah. And, um, obviously we, we discussed briefly about the music and we got to see you sing a little bit in Sabrina. Do you want to in the future, maybe do a project that combines both acting and music or even Broadway or something like, is that something you want to do? Absolutely. And I think like subconsciously, that's part of the reason why I'm doing some of this as well. Like I've always loved music. I've been writing since I was 15 years old. And, you know, the first song I wrote was to like get the attention of a girl that I was like, had the craziest crush on and can never get. Um, but, you know, it was like, it was part of the thing that started the love for it. And as I'm moving forward, you know, the two things I've really always turned to is music and acting and acting has always kind of been the forefront of that focus, but music has always kind of been there at the end of the day. Um, it's been something that I've, I've turned to that's more personal and uh, it has been like a, a form of therapy in a lot of ways. And, you know, I look at like Oscar Isaac in Inside Lewin Davis and I remember seeing, seeing that film and noticing how talented of a musician he was and and how talented of an actor he is and combining the two things in that film I was just like man that is like so cool Robert Pattinson also did it really well I think um and you know he's uber talented in both departments as well so yeah that's definitely something that I would I would love to you know explore um and you know I come from musical theater background like I, I love to dance and tumble too like that's a big part of it's like there's there's so there's so much of like my upbringing that is just like leading me somewhere and I don't know where it is but um yeah I mean I think that they all kind of help each other out you know whether it be for the career or just my own sanity yeah uh, do you have any dream roles or projects maybe a franchise you're a fan of or anything like that that you would like to join in the future yeah I do um I mean I am such a Star Wars nerd, truly. Like uh, I, I grew up believing in the philosophy of the Jedi, and would like go to school thinking I was going to the Jedi Academy. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> love it. Uh, I embarrassingly can even admit that, like, up to the age of maybe sixteen, I would like be in my garage staring at an object, like, okay. you know, like trying to move it with my mind. You're talking to the nerds of color. I'm a big nerd here too. Like, you're you're speaking my language so you're listen Star Wars, dude. You're i correct. just want to wave a lightsaber do a butterfly twist you know like that would be like my childhood boy dream come true yeah i'm gonna be waiting for that i'm gonna be waiting for the announcement where it's like we'll cross our fingers hey got it you got yeah. it <laughs> Thanks, and, <laughs> to end i want to just ask you how are you feeling with the approach release i mean i imagine it's it's awesome <laughs> You know, it's so exciting. Like, uh, again, like the only thing I really have it to compare it to is the excitement that I felt before Sabrina, because that was like such a big monumental, monumental moment in my career. And um, now that it's approaching again, I feel all those butterflies and the excitement and I get to talk to you about it. And like, I feel like it's starting, you know, like there's yeah. there's just that weird anticipation of it all, like how people will receive it. And I'm just so excited for the fans to get to see like what we worked so hard on. And um, yeah, I mean, just so much gratitude for the crew and the production, all the fellow castmates and, um, you know, and the fam, my family in particular that supported me through the thing. And, you know, just, uh, yeah, just a lot of gratitude is what it comes down to. That's gonna be, that's gonna be fun to kind of just be, you know, almost like you said, the overnight reaction, you're going to get that all over again with the whole new show and the whole new group. It's going to be awesome. I can't, I can't it's wait. It's such a high. Yeah. It's such a beautiful high. And um, there's, there's no other high that I've found better than this one right here. So I'm very, very excited. Congrats again. Thank you again so much for taking the time. I am beyond excited. To, I will be watching the show as soon as it comes out. And I'm, thank you, really. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. I'm excited for you to see it. Comics, movies, and TV, yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen.
hit play, so check this.